Hi everyone, welcome to Rock Your Foundation. My name is Jody Stein. Come on in, say hello, tell me where you're joining from. If you no longer see the red live button, uh, just comment hashtag replay so I can thank you for watching after I am live. And if you are a new viewer, please comment new and tell me where you're joining from. I love to meet new people. And I'm going to show you guys, okay, I don't have my foundation done, so this this eye look will all come together once I have my foundation on, but I'm going to do this really, really pretty fall makeup or fall eye look. I'm using the colors in this palette right here, plus I'm adding in this burgundy. Plus I'm adding in this burgundy color called Fervent. It is a gorgeous fall color. Um, this makes pretty much the perfect fall palette for anyone who is wanting to have a little bit of fun with a new eyeshadow look. So the first color I'm grabbing is called Impish. It is a matte peach color and I am applying that with a fluffy blending brush and I'm just kind of sweeping it on all across my eye and I'm bringing it up a little bit higher to my brow, but I'm leaving a little bit of space. If you guys can see that. Okay. Okay, sorry about that, you guys. I keep getting cut out. All right, the next color I'm gonna grab is, um, let's see, what did I do? Oh, okay, so I am gonna grab this color right here. It's called Fervent. It is a matte burgundy color, and we are gonna pop that right on top of the peach color, but just kind of stay focused on this outer V part of my eye. And just bring it up a little bit into the peach. I probably should be doing some winter eye looks because we woke up to some snow on the ground and it hasn't melted yet. So pretty much winter instead of fall. And then you just wanna kinda look back into the mirror and make sure that everything is even. I'm gonna grab a little bit more of that impish color and softly blend that into the maroon or the burgundy. Okay, just like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. I am just having a heck of a time today, aren't I? Okay, sorry about that. I was just trying to get my light a little bit different. you guys up a little bit sorry about that okay so we are just blending 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 and I think that looks good now we're gonna go in with cynical that is the hunter green color and I'm actually gonna just put that on my lower lash line on the outer just on that outer part and when I'm doing eyeshadows dark like this, I like to do my eyes first and then go in with my foundation because then I just kind of can clean up all the all around my eye area. Instead of trying to clean up foundation, it's much easier to, to clean up the eyeshadow with the foundation. So now I'm going in with this color. It is called Covetous. It is a, kind of like a bronzy brown shade. It's super, super pretty. And I'm just gonna pop this right here. And then you look back, make sure it is even. And we're just gonna blend that 
in with the other two colors. Okay, and then I'm gonna take, this is what I'm gonna go in with this color right here. This is called Optimistic. It is a gorgeous metallic ivory color. Hi Cornell, you are missing my hot mess, Express. Um, my light fell down, it hit my tripod. Okay, so I'm just kind of brightening up, just kind of bringing that into the cynical. And again, everything will just kind of clean up once I do my foundation. So I'm gonna throw on some liquid eyeliner. I'm done with all my eyeshadows. Okay. I'm on pretty late today because I tried doing my, well, I didn't try. I did it, but I just didn't do it live and I didn't record it because I did not know how it was going to go. But I did my first Halloween look. So it is on, I did post it, it on my Instagram account, which is also Jodi Gale Stein. So if you're interested in checking that out, make sure you are following me on Instagram. So now we are going to, okay, my eyeliner got up a little bit high. Isn't that a pretty eye combo? I can't wait to see it all come together with foundation. So I'm actually going to throw on a coat of my Twisted Mascara. So I'm going in first with that, that little wand and then I'm gonna twist it back together and unscrew the big wand. And this is going to give me some volume and separation. I still have a bunch of glitter on my face from the look I did. I did like a sunflower, like a sunflower scarecrow, and all of my eyes were covered with um, gold glitter, so I still can see that on my face. Okay, we are ready for foundation. It's gonna tie everything together. So I'm just gonna shake this up, grab my kabuki brush, just kind of stipple it into my skin. I actually used my um, hydrating primer today because I can already tell a difference in my skin with the weather changing that it is already drying out. So I need to keep it super hydrated. I know I rave about the um, mattifying primer, but I feel like with the winter months coming and the drier or the drier weather that's going to come with that, um, I almost feel like everybody needs a hydrating primer as well. Now I have tried the Gloria, the original Glorious Face Primer with this spray foundation, and I just don't feel like it works. Um, that that combination just does not work. So either grab the if you're going to grab the spray foundation or the stick foundation, I highly recommend either the mattifying primer or the hydrating primer. You guys look at that. Okay, let me come in and show you guys. So bare skin spray foundation. You can still see my skin. It's just better. It just looks a little bit more even. Hi, Sue. Thanks for hopping on. How are you? Your foundation should be here any day, and then I will get it shipped out with the new concealer. Okay, so we're going to do this side of my face. I 
and we're just going to clean up that eyeshadow. That's already making the eye look come together. I love it. I'm going to come in here and just with this little brush. Okay. I, I can just feel, I can already feel the difference with using that hydrating primer. Like it feels like the foundation is going on more smoothly. Like it's sudden, it's like just kind of melting. I feel like it's melting into my skin, which is going to help uh, reduce the look of large pores. So again, if you notice that your skin is getting a little bit more on the dry side, just with the little bit of cold temperatures that we've had and the snow falling, you might want to switch up your primer. And then just make sure you're really, really hydrating at night and during the, uh, so nighttime when you do your skincare routine and then in the morning when you do your morning routine, just make sure you're hydrating really, really well. Okay. Um, so there is the eye, the finished eye look with the foundation. I'm not going to put on any concealer today. I actually carved out my eyebrows with the concealer, but I'm just going to do some setting powder under my eyes and we're going to call it good just because it's so late in the day and I'm probably going to be um, taking this off right after we eat supper. Okay, sounds good. No worries. Um, you can always wait to pay me until you receive your product too. All right. So I'm just taking this little um, stick. It's like a really nice, small stippling brush. I took it from my daughter's room. She wasn't using it and it works perfect for underneath my eyes. Back you guys up a little bit. Okay, so we're, we've done that. We can go in with some bronzer. And today I'm actually gonna do more of a fall, more of a bold fall lip. Okay, so we're gonna go in with some bronzer. I know I look a little bit pale. That's just because of the lighting. After I hop off of here, my plan is to go finish my hair, put on a fun sweater, and then like a fun fall hat. I have like this mustard color hat. It's super, super fun. And I figured that would be a good, just make some, I don't know. Just have a little bit more fun with my pictures for the eye looks. All right. Got a little bit carried away with the bronzer here on my. All right, I'm gonna take another little swoop, tap off the excess, swirl it into this lid. Hi, Debbie. Um, so yeah, I, when I bought this one off Amazon, I got the shade bronzer, but I did find it was a little bit too light for me. So this shade that I'm really liking, I ordered two different, two other shades. Um, this one's okay. It, this one is called deep bronzer, but this is the one that I'm really loving. It's called endless. It's called endless summer. And you can see that that one is a lot darker. I'll hold it up. So this is the one that I originally got, and then this is the one I just ordered last week. So I'm really liking this one. And again, that color is called Endless Summer. And yeah, I feel like it's kind of the perfect. I'm just gonna give that other one to my daughter when her, she still has one of our unique ones in the sunset. Um, 
she has a little bit left of that one so when she runs out I'm just gonna give her I'm just gonna give her this light lighter shade one because that will work for her okay so there is that we are going to blend out All right, I'm gonna go in with a different shade of blush today. It is called Seductive. I have all of our blush shades, so I figure I might as well play around with them. So I'm just gonna swirl this in. I'm using the same brush that I did um, my bronzer with. And then I'm gonna highlight with Optimistic, which is the shade I have right down here in my lower lash line, and show you guys that you can use that as a highlight as well. All right, so we are gonna go in with Optimistic right here. We are just gonna tap this little fluffy brush. Oh, I forgot to do my nose with my bronzer. I like to always thin out my nose a little bit. So let me do that first. Okay, then we can do a little dab of Optimistic. Okay, so those are your highlighting points. It's just gonna make your cheekbones pop. It give you an instant lift. Uh, just coming on, are those your lashes? Nope, these are my lashes. Um, so I use two different lash serums. I use Esteem Lash Serum from my website, and then I also use Grand Lash I, a Lash Serum, and I get that on um, Grand GrandLash.com. And then I use this mascara. It is called Twisted Mascara. It is a double wand. You have a skinny wand, and then you have this um, more wide wand. So that is what I use, and I actually like to top, once that sets for a little bit, I do like to go in with my 4D mascara. This mascara has fibers built in, and then this will really make my lashes pop and make it look like I have false lashes on. So they are my lashes. All right, let's go ahead and do a, night, a fun um, fall lip. I am going to line my lips with Prim, and then I'm going to dig down here and see what I have for the fall color. Um. Okay, I think I'm going to go. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, tell me where you guys are joining from. I think I'm going to go with this one. This one is called Sensual. It's like kind of a deep purple, but then I'm going to lighten it up with concealer. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to lighten it up. You know, actually, I'm going to lighten it up with a lighter shade of, okay, we're going to do this. We're going to do sensual, and then we're going to top it with a little bit of soft hearted, and that's just going to lighten it up and become more of an ombre look. So Prim is just a light brown eyeliner, but I use it all the time for my lip liner. And I just slightly overline my lips, but I don't go too crazy. I don't want it to be noticeable, just slightly.
Okay. So there is Prim. Okay, so we are going to scrape off the excess because a little bit goes a long, long way. Okay. And you can see it's very dark, but it's going to pull all this eye, this eyeshadow together. So lip liner will really help you if you use a dark color like this. So I'm just blending that out. Thanks, Cornell. You're so sweet to me. I appreciate it. All right. So now this color is called Soft Hearted. It is a babe, like a baby pink color. I'm actually not sure if this is even available on the website, but I have them, and so I'm going to use them. If um, they're not available on my website, you can definitely uh, use similar colors from a different brand. I'm just going to pop that in the middle. Just like that. Take your ring finger again and just lightly blend it out. And it just makes it a little bit more wearable even though the dark is super, super pretty, but I feel like this just lessens it up a little bit. I'm going to grab a Q-tip here. Okay. All right, now what I like to do is I'm going to go back in with Optimistic again. So I've used this three different ways. I have it on my lower lash line meeting up to the green color and then I have, have this shade as a highlight on my cheekbones down the center of my nose my cupid's bow and my chin now I'm going to just grab a little bit and we are going to tap that in the center of my lips and that's going to give me more of a long wearing lip color And by having that little bit of shimmer, it's going to make my lips look a little bit more full too. Okay. There is my finished look. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Remember, the more you buy, the more you save. Um, just add items to your cart and the discount will be automatically applied to qualifying items at the shopping cart. If you need help um, getting a color match for the right foundation for you, if you need to decide which foundation is right for you, I offer a BB cream, a pressed powder, liquid foundation, stick foundation, spray foundation. I offer three different types of primers. Today I use my hydrating primer and I really felt like the foundation just kind of melted into my skin. And then I use this really, really pretty eyeshadow palette that I created and I also added on this one right here. So you've got a set of four and then I've got fervent, the really pretty burgundy color that I have on the outer corner of my eyes and that's it so I hope you guys have a great Tuesday go grab some tacos and I will catch you later bye bye